Alright, what's good everybody? Welcome back to another video on the channel. And in today's video, I will be showing you guys how to stream on Streamlabs OBS. The best settings that I use every day when I stream on YouTube. And I will also be giving you three tips at the end. I'll probably play Fortnite in the background because that's my main game. But stick around for those if you want to see the tips that I used to grow my channel so fast while streaming. And yeah, now I will get into the video. Alright, so first of all, the most important tip, obviously, for Streamlabs OBS is how to stream. So you want to go down here to settings. And once you're on settings, let me move it over so my face cam doesn't block it. You want to go to stream and you want to make sure you're linked to either your YouTube or your Twitch. Otherwise, it will not let you go live. So link these, you can have them both linked. But usually I have to log into my Twitch for some reason every time that I switch to Twitch. It's weird. I don't really get it. But then you, you just make sure that you're logged in. Like as you can see, I'm logged into my YouTube right now, Combi Connor. And you select done. And all you do is go live right here. And this is where this is where you can edit the title before you stream and you can also edit the description i always <laughs> i always tend to put something in here just so i know that people read the description and here's where you upload your um your thumbnails i have a lot of thumbnails so <laughs> don't worry about that and this is where you get ultra low lat latency like like three second delay i'm pretty sure i have it's like three to five seconds delay Make sure to have this on to have like a three second delay on your stream and then after that you just you just select confirm and go live and then you can manage everything on your uh channel dashboard for uh youtube and for twitch you can manage it on your stream manager i'm pretty sure so yeah that is how you go live it's pretty simple i just know a lot of people asked about it so i just figured i'd tell you guys so now I'm going to be showing you guys my best settings for Streamlabs OBS when I stream on YouTube. I mostly stream Fortnite, so I bet most of you knew that already, but I just wanted to tell you guys what I stream. So you want to go to settings, and first things first, you want to go to video, and to get 1080p and 60fps, this is where you do it. You want your output scaled resolution to be 1920 by 1080 obviously, and your downscale filter, you want that, you want that to be Lance Coast. I don't know how to say that it's something like that sharpen scaling 32 samples your fps type you want that to be common fps values and you also want your common fps values to be 60 in order to get 60 fps and there you go that is how you get 1080p and 60 fps on your stream and now i will show you the rest of the settings all right so now i'm going to show you guys the rest of my settings probably the most important part for output mode you want to be on advanced so you get all of these setting um options and I will just show you guys, make sure to copy mine. But one thing I do want to say is for the bitrate, you want to go to an internet speed test and see what your upload rate is. I will put a link in the description down below so you can test it. And if you're, say your upload rate is like six megabytes per second, make sure to put your bitrate at 6,000. If you put anything higher, you will probably cause your stream to crash. And mine is about, it's around 10. So I just use 7,500. The max you can use on YouTube is 9,000, which looks really good, but 7,500 obviously looks good as well. And for preset, you want max quality in order to get, obviously, the max quality. And for profile, you want high. And here are these settings. You want this on and GPU at zero and max B frames at two. Those were my streaming settings. And now I will show you my recording settings. Obviously, you want your recording format to be MP4. I don't know. If anything else uses anything other than mp4 you can select where it goes obviously in your folders and it's pretty much the same settings my bitrate is higher because obviously it's recording so you can just copy these if you want all right so make sure to copy those settings and you should your stream should look like mine make sure to leave any questions below if you have any problems and uh, yeah I know you guys have been wanting to see this video I showed you how to stream and the best settings that I use when I stream which have been my most recently asked uh, questions and most frequently and now I will give you three tips on how to stream like how to start out and how to stay motivated and all that so yeah all right so I left this out when I was first recording this video but to get max performance like to get to get the smoothest like performance when you stream you want to make sure that you go to here and either make this as small as you want or turn on performance mode and then it will run pretty smoothly it might have some fps drops like it'll you'll feel some stream delay unless you have a really good pc but this is obviously better than not having performance mode on 
so i just wanted to add that before uh i got into the tips so yeah all right so for the first tip i want you guys to keep in mind that starting out streaming you're gonna have zero viewers but i want you to make it fun at first because obviously everyone starts out with zero viewers i streamed to zero viewers like for two months straight when i was first starting out and i was on console by the way so depending whether you're on console or um or pc it does not matter you can do it from any platform so i just want to remind you guys to have fun with it at first and um just stay motivated no matter what people will come to you and now i will get into the second tip all right so for tip number two i want you guys to to add something to your stream that makes you yourself whether that's a face cam or a hand cam it will definitely help with your exposure when you stream and will gain you more viewers ultimately And obviously have fun when you're first starting out just like I said in the first tip that's pretty much the golden rule of streaming especially when you're starting out because obviously you need to grow a community first and the best way to grow a community is to have them notice you in some way uniquely that they'll know it's you like I have a face cam and a hand cam now which I recently got and it definitely helps with my exposure. I've seen an increase in uh, viewers and everything like that. So I highly recommend getting a hand camera or face cam, like I said, and just being original to yourself and people will come back just for yourself. Don't try to be someone else that you're not. And yeah, that's pretty much tip number two. All right, so for the third and final tip, I just want to remind you to like the video. No, I'm just playing. The third and final tip is to stay away from the haters, stay away from the bad people. Haters will come to you if you continue to stream and if they see you doing good. It happens to me like almost every day, they always hate. There will always be haters for everything. If they see you striving, they will try to bring you down, just don't listen to them. And if you want to make money off of YouTube, you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. And if you want me to drop a video on how much I make, like how much a 5,000 subscriber YouTuber makes, uh, get this video to a big 500 likes and I will actually make the video this week. That's a big goal I know but it means a lot to me that I make money and I don't want to leak it that easily. So if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe to see how much I make and uh, I will see you in the next video. Have a blessed day.